Hey everyone, welcome back to Codes of Fan channel. So in this video, we are going to build the live streaming app. Um, you know, in, in this single video only, we are going to build the you know complete live streaming app. How can we do it? And everything I'm going to show you, and I'm going to explain it as well. And this video is absolutely for beginners. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. Follow for more videos on React Native. And without wasting time, let's start the video. So if you see here, right now I just created a sample project as usual, like using uh, CLI. You know, this is the I haven't done anything. So first and foremost thing, uh, your doubt is like, how can we build a live streaming app that to in an easy way? Okay. So to do that, we are going to take help of one, you know, uh, SDK basically. In fact, let me explain you that also. How can we, you know, do it and all? Before that, let me close the tab and uh, let me open this tab and search for Zigo Cloud. Basically, this is the SDK providing, you know company so we are going to take help of this Vigo cloud okay and um, before that let me explain you is it a safe or not how can we going to build this and how exactly these things and and all works and all and will it require any payment and all um, i'm going to explain you guys okay so basically so Vigo cloud is a company where it provides you know services like video calling in-app charts super board voice call cloud recording digital human live streaming and ai effects and all these are the services which Vigo cloud is providing and that too uh, you know we can uh, take help of trial version basically it's a paid thing only but uh, you know we can use the trial version it, uh, so basically Digo Cloud is providing some 10,000 minutes something like it, which is a good thing you know we can play around so that if it is uh, meets our requirement then we can go with the paid version okay so if you scroll down this is a 30 plus billion end users annually they are using you know and uh, these are the things and 212 plus countries and are using this uh, Zigo Cloud SDK okay and is it a safe or not yes it's absolutely safe and there is no need of you know doing uh, adding credit card payments and all basically and that too no need to build any UI also basically there's a pre-built UI also available here you know we can simply in fact I'm going to show you also like uh, there is no need to write any single code we are going to simply copy paste the things and we are going to build a live streaming app in a much much easy way okay so if you see here uh, build for developers these are the things uh, in fact I'll provide this uh, website link also in description you can go and check out from there and you can you know go through it so you will get a proper idea and as I said, right, these are the services it's providing one on one call, group call, video conference, live streaming and, you know, pre-built device also. If you see the things basically it's providing and so as I said, these are the things and, uh, you know, if you want to, you know, implement any uh, these things, you know, anything you can use, ut utilize this and if you satisfied with this and you can go with the player on but as of now we are going to take help of you know trail personally okay no issues with this no need to add any payment and all in fact i'm going to show you also like how to create account you know and how to log in and how to do it everything step by step okay no issues so yeah these are the things and uh, you know if you want to build using android you can go with this you know these many services this sdk supports android ios web flutter react native windows react native windows mac electron these are the this many frameworks it supports okay so in this video we are going to build the live streaming app using react native only okay so let's quickly start this okay i guess and one more thing if you still have any doubts you can go through this okay you will get a proper idea of everything they have mentioned everything uh, in clear document and all you can go through this so all you need to do is like simply click on sign up To simply enter your name first name last name country which country you belong from and work email uh, you can enter your person it's fine absolutely and verification code basically it will send you one verification mail from your mail and password that's it nothing else no need to you know add your credit card anything okay and it's a secured one also okay keep in mind no need to you know worry about is it safe or not it's a basically a secured one only okay no issues so I have already created my account, you know, just to save over time. So I'll quickly log into this uh, account and I'm going to show you the dashboard also, how exactly it looks and all, okay? Let me log in it and uh, after that I'll resume the video. So if you see here, basically, 
this is how your dashboard looks uh, now you can ask me like uh, is there one project showing sample like there but why it's not showing for us means uh, i just uh, you know i just created before i just did some demo thing so for this reason i just created just you I think react native only i created in fact i'm going to explain you also and as i said right uh 10 minutes this is the trial version and and it expires at next month okay it will give you here also right now i'm not paying here also as same like you guys i'm using free trial version only okay and uh if you have a you know plan if you want to change your plan you can change it here and you know if you want to explore ui kit demos uh, everything you can do it here if you want to join their community there is a discord link also you can join from there and as of now first uh, let's jump into create a one project okay let's create a project and they are asking like which service you want to use and these all are uh, you know they are giving for trial version only for 10000 min nothing but next month 7th my my plan is going to trial version going to end in meantime i am going to you know use these services okay i can use the voice and video call service if i want if i want to build a ui i can do it if i want to you know integrate a video conference in my app i can use this live streaming live audio room in app chat you know if i want to you know build a whatsapp kind of thing i can go with this in app chat if i want to you know customize my app something required based on my requirements i can do like this health thing one on one tutoring live shopping game streaming watch together online karaoke basically some tiktok kind of stuff you know this many services we can you know go with this but as of in this video we are going to you know uh, build the live streaming app as i said but in future i'm going to you know uh, i'll try to in fact um, i did a one video on video call also if you haven't watched i'll provide the link in description you can go and watch it using this services only <clears throat> so in this video let's build the live streaming app okay simply click on next and it's asking me project name basically so let me give some project name called live stream you can give any name it's fine absolutely and they are asking uh, ui kits or sdks now you can ask me what is exactly mean as i said right um using this service uh, no need to you know build ui also you know they are giving a basic ui okay if you want you know it's not even basic also it's a better ui nothing but um ui if you want to build a ui means you can go with the, you know if you want to use your custom ui and you want to integrate sdk means you can use this um, you can go with this start with custom sdk but here we are going to take help of this ui kits only because they are providing their own ui why should we write a code this is for our purpose right for if you want let's say you are in a college thing and if you want to build a project using you can go with this no, you can simply build in 10 minutes basically it won't require much code also in fact they are providing you know whole code also okay perfect so all you need to do is like simply right now these are the things android ios as i said right flutter these things but i am going to take help of ui kits only simply click on start with ui kits it may some uh, take some time uh, not that much time maybe some 1 minute to minutes uh, it will create a one project uh, it will create a project basically okay i'll quickly resume once it's done okay if you see here my project uh, you know created successfully and it asking me to which app you want to you know which framework you want to create that like uh, if you want to build in web you can go with this if you want to build for proper native ios you can go with this if you want to go with android you can go with this for flutter for react native but i want to create my app in react native okay for this reason i'm going to click this that's it and uh, you know this is the proper document it's asking me to build a quickly add zero cloud ui kits to your application this is how the ui looks okay and if you want to enable these things and these are right now paid things like a premium um, let's a few other filters nothing but you know make your virtual avatar screen sharing premium face if you want to turn it on you uh, you need to you know pay a paid thing but as of now let's utilize this and let's see how exactly it works okay simply click on save and start to integrate and uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, if you can able to see there is a one app id and a one app sign basically uh, these are a privacy thing uh, private things for this reason i'm going to hide this uh, you can you cannot able to see these two things but where we are going to use i'm going to explain you in the code but before that just try to copy this and uh, 
you know save it in one notepad okay uh, let me save it in you know paste uh, copy and paste it in notepad so if you see here we are going to you know write we are not even not going to write any piece of code we are going to simply do copy paste only okay from everything i am going to do it from here only okay so no issues so basically uh, we'll follow step by step if you still want to refer they are providing you know their official video also react native video how to create and all but here what i'm going to do first thing uh, let's follow this document only they told to add zigo cloud ui kit uh, this thing using yarn or npm i'm going to use uh, npm so basically let me copy this and uh, you know open terminal as i said this is the project i have created i haven't done anything this is the default code you will get first let's paste this here hit enter and after this uh, we need to add these dependencies also basically if you see this many dependency navigation in fact they are include uh, in fact react navigation also they have included here only so in fact let me go to npm install copy this line okay it's taking some time to you know install the dependencies uh, As I said, right, uh, user ID, live ID, these two things I'm going to explain it. Before that, if you see the code here, this is the thing, this is the piece of code all we need. Okay. And uh, as I said before, app ID and app sign in, these two required we need to store. Here we need to pass it. Okay. For this reason, I told you to store it in some notepad or something like that. Okay. You can, uh, if you go back also, you will get it. No issues. But I'm just telling you, you know, simply copy from there and uh, store it in notepad. And we are going to take without app ID and app sign in, it won't work. This thing. Okay. It will throw an error. This is a single piece of code we are going to use. And uh, before that, let me check is it installed properly. Ah, installed. Let me paste that line which I have copied and hit enter. And before jumping into down, uh, okay, let's do this also. So it's telling, uh, let me close this. Basically, it's telling in Android, in native, particularly for Android device, open uh, your project Android app SRC main manifest file. Inside manifest file, we need to add this this code properly nothing but let's do that in fact let me show you open android i'm repeating again open android app src main android.manifest let me drag this on so you so that you can able to see this is android manifest here android app src main android manifest here what we need to add this code only see nothing but we are just simply doing copy paste okay paste it here that's it so what next open uh, android app pro god rules profile and add this add the this line nothing but if even if i zoom it see we need to add this line single line here see they clearly mentioned in the document okay so simply copy this line and you know this is a pro god rules pro line right and paste it here that's it did I done anything? Nothing but simply copying and pasting the code here. That's it. In iOS, um, I, right now I'm using Windows thing, but I'm going to show you where exactly you need to add. Open uh, info.plist in my project. In fact, I'm going to show you that also. Simply control plus T in VS code. It will open that and search for info.plist. You can able to see two files. Um, one is for normal your project info.plist and other one is a test file. Same like a packet.json and packet.log.json. Uh, uh, you can you don't need to click a test thing. You need to click a upper thing and here simply you know paste your this command lines. That's it. This is the only configuration code required for iOS. Okay. Right now I'm not pasting here because there is no use of uh, you know adding files here also because uh, I'm using Windows either way I cannot run you know I I was a simulator in Windows right it won't work for this reason let me clear it uh, clear my terminal and after this so after adding this code uh, right now if you see we skip this code we have we are not going to add it but um, you can ask me like are we going to write code no we are not going to write the code in fact I'm going to show you also how can we write the code how to create and all 
and this is the command line as usual you guys know how to run ios and how to run android also but before jumping into this simply click on sample code you know it will open a github thing before that minimize this file and let's create a folder structure first you know after uh, adding we'll add the code also so before that let's create a folder structure simply create a src screens basically my all screens I'll, i'm going to store the code here and uh, routes basically and i'll say keys or i'll say utils basically my app sign app id as i said right those are a uh, secure uh, privacy thing you know i cannot show you guys for this reason i am going to store that uh, app key and app sign in in this utils file utils folder and i am going to export it i am going to utilize it in my whole project in this way okay inside utils i'll say keys uh, dot js and here i'll say export const app uh, what are those before that let me click on this what was the names uh, let's keep the names as well only app id and app sign okay i'm going to keep app id only and uh, it should be a number <coughs> and same way export const app sign because i'm just showing how i am exactly storing this okay so that right now uh, after that if you if i skip this thing and if you're not able to store it properly you will get an error for this reason i'm going to sh showing this and here i'm going to uh, paste the values here okay let me paste it here and uh, you know i'll resume it later so i've successfully added my keys here app id and app sign in nothing but and here in inside routes i'm going to create a uh, one file called uh, maybe routes i'm going to keep it routes only route.js Yeah, and in fact, instead of routes, let me. What can we say? Stack navigator. I'll say stack, stack dot js. It will be perfect. And uh, you know, rnfe. As I told before, also I'm using snippet. And are we going to write the code of stack, uh, navigation also? No, we are not going to write navigation code. Okay. Simply open one tab, search for React navigation. Click on Redox. Hello, React Navigation here. If you scroll down, as I said, uh, simply in this uh, app, we are not going to write proper code. Also, only we do simply copy paste only. Using copy paste only, we are going to build the whole app. Okay. So I just change the team basically to make it bit dark so that I, you guys can able to see properly. So first and foremost thing, let's simply copy this line navigation container import line. We can write also, but you know, to save our time, simply copy that line. Before that, let me go to app.js here and remove the all code rnfe snippet. I'm using React Native functional component and change this, rename this to instead of TypeScript, we are using JavaScript, right? For this purpose, app.js. That's it. And let remove this uh, view also here in app.js. Paste that uh, navigation container code here, that import line, nothing but and simply copy this navigation container here paste it here and close it with navigation container that's it inside this i'm going to call my stack you know a uh, stack uh, file close it make sure you uh you, you need to import it properly otherwise it will throw an error that's it now my app.js file was task was done now we need to you know add the files to add the files i'm going to create a few files names basically in fact we are going to create a file name based on this here only okay simply click live streaming here src and here uh, we are going to create a files these three names only Okay, audience page. We are going to create uh, like this only. Okay.
audience page dot js rnfe same way what was my next home page dot js i'm going to create home page dot js same way rnfe i'm using snippet what i'm doing i'm just creating the files host, host page let's create the host page also because in live streaming host only right hello the you know rnfe okay uh, key center nothing but keys to store the keys here but but we already did this key store right for this reason in fact you can store it as a object form also it's absolutely fine but i just uh, you know stored it as a variables form two variables i took now first and foremost thing let's go to app navigation simply copy this code go to stack instead of view replace with this code stack navigator and let's import this uh, stack navigator also so to import this all we need to do is simply copy this line import line nothing but paste it here copy this stack line okay uh here both are matching let me change the you know stack uh page i'll say stack page okay in fact i'm going to change here also stack page it's fine in fact here also i'm change i'll change this file name to stack page okay and it will throw an error because here if you see import here also we need to change it because we are using this stack page obviously see perfect that's it and um, let's close this stack page also and and as usual we created a uh, names here uh, in fact this is a header mode nothing but uh, you know we don't want any header just for this reason it kept none and home page let's import this home page also home page host page and audience page these files only be created nothing but make sure we need to import it here okay perfect this is done and next instead app navigation uh, these are the things we already did this and let's go to home page first we'll copy paste the home page code see we have in fact the whole style ui everything was they already mentioned here so no need to do anything simply copy this home page here copy this home page and go to home page screen copy paste it here that's it nothing but what i did nothing but we just simply you know uh, i just pasted the code that's it nothing else and let's check uh, is there anything props uh, i guess we are not using any props here so i just removed that and we are passing user id live id you know these things and they are already these are the two states and we need to import use state and all it's already imported and use effect nothing but it just every time at a first time rendering like component mounting it just creating two random numbers and storing it in the inside these two things here and safe area something they are using uh, react native safe area context from safe area context they are using this method and this is basically an ui they are using perfect nothing else we did here that's it done so home page ui was done and after this let's go to click on this home page was done now let's click on audience page same way uh, paste this audience page code copy that and go to here and paste it here that's it let's check uh, are we need to anything to remove something like that okay here i need to instead of key center because i i took from app id app id i need to paste it here like this way and app sign in these are the two things here we are doing here and let me remove this key center basically i have stored in utils keys right for this reason and we go cloud and this is the code they are giving and 
in fact we don't want this a top menu config everything let's remove this this is more than enough like uh, if you click on if you want to end the streaming we simply navigate to home screen that's it nothing else and uh, okay these are do they are doing something and this is the piece of code for the you know uh, sdk is already pre-built ui kit nothing but this is the code for that and after that and this is a pre-built ui nothing but they are only keeping okay as of now we just added audience page and home page now let's simply you know add the host page also and don't worry i'm going to you know share the code also or else you can refer this official document itself same way copy this code copy this paste it here that's it and let's check um here also i'm going to re uh, remove this during during con for these things and all we don't want and after this what else we are navigating to home screen here on live live stream something they're doing uh, nothing but we are here it's navigating to home home page here and you know here also we need to pass uh, our app id and app sign in also okay let's do that app sign in nothing but let me import it properly that's it and let me remove this key center here so that's pretty much all we need to do nothing else we did everything almost our uh, you know our live streaming app is done completed are we really wrote any code nothing we just simply copy pasted that thing and that too using this uh, you know this sdk uh, did a you know uh, what do we call our work much much easy way okay only following this document only in fact i'm going to provide this you know document link also in description you can check out from there and you can refer this and you can go through this everything you can use the services trial version only no need to pay any single penny to this okay once you are satisfied you can use their uh, paid versions okay so okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to run this project and you know i'm going to show you how exactly it looks like okay it may take some time i'll resume the video I'm, i'll stop my video here and i'll resume once my emulator starts working okay if you can able to see my app started working fine and no issues also uh, even this whole UI also we just you know got it from you guys not from github only everything and this random number <coughs> is getting generated by uh, in fact let me show you this this use effect nothing but user id live id okay if i click on start live so if you see here right now i'm able to successfully you know uh, run my emulator you know uh, run my live streaming app and if i click on this start um, I can able to see the host right now. I'm the host basically, and you know I can turn off video, uh, like audio, video, back cam, everything. I can do that, and in fact I can text here also, like something I can type here. So everything uh, will be you know. If I send this, it went. So you know you can able to see the message also whatever I typed here. And it will, uh, you can do, so this is the live code you can share with the other device also. You can, uh, you know, join through that device and you can test it from there also. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe. Follow for more videos on React Native. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.